Hi beauties, welcome back. I have my second haul from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty in front of me today. It's gonna be a really quick unboxing. I did opt to do, we put in this order on September 5th, which was the first Saturday that the sale was going on because they did Tarte Shape Tape. That is one of my favorite concealers. And if it is on sale, I pretty much always pick up one or two, even though I currently already had some backup. So I have a problem and I can't help it. So what are you gonna do? Um, but yeah, so I wanted to do a quick little unboxing of it. I will start off by saying, if you guys watched our last unboxing video where I got the three LA girl palettes and one of them arrived broken, the same day that this order arrived, my replacement arrived and it unfortunately was broken in the exact same place, the exact same color. I just have the worst luck with palettes sometimes. I know it happens and it's not, I'm not mad at Ulta at all. They they literally shipped it so beautifully. It was like wrapped in bubble wrap like crazy and it just didn't make it. So um, I did reach back out to them. They gave me store credit. So just wasn't meant to be. All the colors except for one are okay. I'll either dump that color out and clean up the palette and just use the other colors or I'll like put it, last time I had that happen, I put it in like a little empty like foundation, like a face setting powder thing. And I just use it as like a loose shade. It works, not works as, it doesn't work quite as well, but I mean, it still is usable. So I may do that with that one. I haven't figured it out yet, but just an update on that. Bummer, it do be like that. Uh, but so let's jump into what we have in front of us today. I only bought a couple different things, but I bought like two of everything almost because I just, I have a problem. So, so we'll start with what the 21 day sales were that day. The first thing that I got was the Tula Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel. I talked about Tula in, um, in one of my like best pick products, uh, videos that we just released. I, I did not know how great they were until just recently. I had two sample sizes that I think I got from Ulta Free Gifts. One was the um, like the depuffing eye cream. It's my favorite eye cream right now. I swear, doesn't matter which ones I get. I love that one. It just does such a great job of going in there and like immediately takes out the swelling. Um, and I've also used their toner, which I think is similar to this one, like the brighten, the idea it's supposed to brighten your skin, but I've only used the toner a couple of times, but I wanted to try the primer. I love primers and I really liked Tula and oh my God, it's literally, it's like, I'm excited to test this out. It is so like thick. And I feel like it's gonna do just a great job of going in there and really like covering your pores, but it is supposed to brighten as well. So it's supposed to go in there and make your skin look a little bit more lively, which, you know, I need cause I barely leave the house. And when I do, it's in the middle of the night. So <laughs> I need as much livening up as possible. And it's also supposed to go in there and really create that kind of like seamless glass te te texture for your skin, which is what I prefer in primers. I have a bunch of different ones, lots of different ones that do different things, but that is the one that I think I enjoy using the most is the pore filling primer. So I did pick this up. It is originally $34, which is pretty steep, um, but I picked it up for $17. Still a little bit steeper than I would normally pay for primers, if I'm being honest. Um, most of my primers come either in free gifts or they come in like my BoxyCharm or my Ipsys, so I don't really buy them very often. But because I'm so impressed with how Tula has worked and the other products I've used, I did wanna pick this one up. So. Then we have, of course, my Tarte Shape Tapes. I always buy the same shade because I really love it, the 12N Fair Neutral. It works very well for my complexion. Um, there are a couple other shades that I think might do okay, but this just seems to be like the most perfect for me. And uh, they were of course 50% off as well. They're normally $27, so they were $13.50. That's a pretty great price. Um, I'm, for a really quality concealer, I will happily pay, pay that any day. I do have a couple like a little bit more affordable brands that I really enjoy as well. Um, that are much cheaper, like even full price, they're like 11 bucks. So I don't buy as much as I used to with the nice concealers. There was a while where I was really only trying to buy like shape tape and stuff like that. And I kind of loosened on that, especially with 2020 where I'm really not going out much. I'm just putting on makeup to film for you guys. Um, but I did, it's just hard for me not to buy them when they're on sale like that. I didn't need it, but I did it. So here we are. The next thing I got is also from Tarte. It was also one of the deals of the day. This is something I still haven't quite figured out what the hell it's supposed to do. I read a bunch about it before um, I, I decided to buy it. It was uh, on sale for $12.50. It's the Shape Tape Glow Wand. And I got the color Sunbeam, which is like a, they call it a pearlescent glow. I just got the lightest shade. I thought that might be helpful for me as a person. 
uh, because I'm white. So it looks like concealer, right? It just looks normal, looks like a little concealer. Apparently this is supposed to like just brighten, like you're supposed to use it on top of your concealer or on top of your foundation or if you're not wearing makeup and you just want to give a little bit of brightness to your eyes you use it instead comes with a nice little like blender on the bottom and it's a really good feel like a really pretty nice feeling brush i don't know how this is gonna work it could have been the worst 1250 i ever spent in my life i could absolutely love it i could kick myself for not buying like three of these and just forgetting the shape tape since i don't really need any right now i don't know i wanted to try it but i didn't want to try it enough to like Buy multi they have a couple different shades that I thought might work. I just didn't want to risk it if I hate it. I was like $12 lost, not good. $25 lost, mm, worse. So that was my logic. Um, now with any, any shape tape at all purchase, you did get a free gift um, and it is this little three mini set. I was pretty impressed with it, it's cute. Definitely great for like whenever we start traveling again. It comes with a cute little like uh, little concealer blending sponge, which I really like. I like having the tiny ones to go in there. A lot of times my tiny ones wind up becoming um, like when I put on my eyeshadow primer, but this one I like the the fact that it's got that kind of angle for it So I think I'll probably keep him as a concealer one Then we got the stay spray which is a setting spray and I always love having minis for like when I'm at the beach or whatever And then we've got a little base tape from Tarte, which I also I really like it as a primer as well So cute little mini gift and that you didn't have to spend anything You just had to buy at least one um, shape tape product and so yeah, so I got that for free now The last couple things I got I start with the backstory of on TikTok I had seen people doing the whole like I want to make my perfect foundation color by using the um, the mixing shades, the mixing pigments. And it's yellow, white, and blue. They said any combination of those just dependent on your, and I think they're actually, for a little bit of darker complexions, um, they also include like an orange, like a darker orange. We've already talked about it multiple times in this video, but I'm pale, if you didn't know, I'm very white. I don't, I, it is what it is, it's unfortunate, but. Here we are. I only opted to get yellow, white, and blue, but LA girl, I had been shopping for some pigment, mixing pigments for a while since I saw this. LA girl, I think it's pretty new. I shop LA girl a lot. I really like their products. Um, they, the same reason I bought the palettes last time, they're buy two, get one free. Um, these were buy two, get one free. They are normally, I think they're normally $8.99. With all the discounts applied and everything, they evened out to, I bought six. They evened out about two of each shade. They evened out to 540 a piece approximately. I thought that was a great deal. Like I said, I had really been shopping for these. Now my also my thought process was, even if I don't, I'm not gonna mix my own foundation every day. I'm lazy as hell. So why did I buy two of each of these? One, I'd been looking for them and at that point I just was like, I'm gonna, I found you. Here we go. And two, Halloween is coming up. I've been thinking of a couple things to do for Halloween. I'm hoping this will work the blue especially, as a base, I have a th I have an idea of something that I wanna do that's gonna take a lot of work and it's gonna be a long video and it's gonna be excessive, but I'm thinking it's gonna turn out really cool. I wanna do like an alien look, but I don't want it to be like a standard alien. I was really thinking like, I'll do like blues and like some green highlights and stuff like that. And I'm, I bought blue hair dye, so I'm probably gonna just commit and dye my hair blue for it too. Like why not? Like just commit to it, right? So I was really thinking this might be a good way to do a general base and then to be able to go in over it and do powder colors and extra pigment colors on top to give me definition and do all that. It may not work out. It may be really, really pale. It may be way too pale, but that was the goal. I probably should have bought more than two of these. This one might get killed just doing that one look because I'm really thinking like I'll do it from like, like all the way down to my shoulders. We'll see, best laid intentions, that is the plan. So now obviously I do wanna do the whole testing to see if we can make a decent foundation shade with me um, using these three blending pigments if I can come up with like kind of a, a my perfect shade is what everybody calls it. I don't know, I don't know if my skills are, are there. I don't, I don't know, we'll see. I'll try it, I don't, I, I have hope, but but the blue really, I was thinking this might be a good way to kind of give me that. I was also thinking the white with that for like a highlight under the eyes and stuff. And so, cause I'm obviously not gonna use concealer. I thought maybe adding a little white might do a good job of like brightening up and, and kind of helping with the def definition and everything I wanna try and create with that look. It is going to be immense. Um, I think it's going to be one of my history ones too, where I go and I look up, like I'm thinking of maybe doing the history of like Area 51 
or the history of like, you know, alien abductions, talking about some of the stories that are well known. I don't know, I haven't come up with anything yet, but if you guys have any ideas about what you would like me to talk about that's kind of on topic for that, I would love to see those in the comments. It would make it a lot easier um, to kind of have some direction with it because this is just stuff that I've been um, rolling around in my head. It's probably something I'm gonna try and film sooner rather than later so that we have it ready for Halloween time. There's a couple other things I wanna do. This is definitely, I think, going to be like the one that's going to be the hardest for me to pull off. It may be like our Halloween release. I haven't decided yet. So yeah, that's a quick little haul. Just wanted to show you guys what I picked up. Um, the, the next day I'm planning on buying is, what is today's date? Today is the 12th. So the next thing I'm thinking about buying is Tuesday, which I believe is the 15th. And that is when they have the Boeing concealer from Benefit. And I think I'm also gonna pick up the new um, Urban Decay palette, the one, the pressure of stones, I think it's called, or stoned or something like that. The one with all the beautiful glitter pigments. Um, I've been really debating it because of course it's $54. It's not on sale yet. It probably will go on sale in the next few months, but I just, I really like it. It's got great reviews. It looks beautiful and I love Urban Decay. So I was like, oh, I'll go ahead and bite the bullet and probably go ahead and pay full price for it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you subscribe, then you can see me become an alien in the future. Yeah. Other than that, I hope you guys are all safe and healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with the dark twist.